the Turbo Wizard allows you to complete about 95% of everything that's in the Standard Wizard. And basically, if you already understand the Standard Wizard and have gone through the guide for that, you'll actually know what all these boxes are already. The only real difference is that in the Turbo Wizard, uh, you'll see that we only have two types of uh, URL visible and two types of keywords. We've got the keywords here, primary and secondary, and the URLs, primary and secondary, here. Now, the additional ones are available. Uh, if you click the button here, you'll get a little which uh, shows you where you can put in the uh, generic keywords, the other keywords, and other URLs. So exactly the same as the main wizard. So I'll just uh, quickly pre-populate this uh, with exactly the same settings that we did uh, in the other main wizard tutorial, and then we'll go through it and explain them one by one. Okay, so I have uh, just quickly gone through that and filled it all in, so you don't have to watch me typing everything. Now, exactly the same as the normal wizard, we have the primary and secondary keyword set. Our primary keyword is the keyword that you want to rank for, the, the main keyword you're after. You can put as many keywords as you want into each of these boxes, and uh, you can only use one box, you know, the primaries, if you want. You don't have to use the secondaries. But we recommend a maximum of one to five within this primary box, and uh, preferably only one or two. However, in the secondary, these are long tail. Uh, as you can see, all the long tail keywords contain copies of the primary keyword. Now if we scroll down, these are actually generated by Google using the uh, Generate from Primary Keyword button here. So these are all uh, keywords that uh, Google believes are associated with this. Now you can put whatever you want in here again. You don't have to uh, use the generated ones. You can type in your own. And uh, they don't have to be uh, as related like this. Down here we've got the URLs. Now the primary URL is the one that you are trying to actually rank. Uh, in this case it's the uh, subpage on uh, training in uh, dogs.com. And the secondary URL, if you're going to use one, uh, the typical example is to uh, use the root domain. So whereas this is the subpage with the uh, training, this is just the dogs.com on its own. So basically what this is doing here, because uh, we set a ratio of 20 to 80, for every four links that are created pointing at uh, the training page, one will be created that points just at the home page. And that gives you a more uh, natural uh, link uh, backlink portfolio. Exactly the same up here, you can see we set the ratio of 40% uh, to 60%. So uh, that just means that not all your links are going to be about just specifically dog training. You'll throw in a nice mixture of additional keywords as well. And uh, that just gives you a much, better, a much better portfolio in general. And you're more likely to rank and keep your ranking. The other thing you will find actually when you're doing such techniques like this is that some of these words that are specifically in here you'll start to rank for and uh, you'll start to make uh, money from keywords that you never even thought of. Now below all these we have the tags. Uh, again, you have to have a minimum of three tags. You can generate the tags automatically using the generate uh, from primary keyword. Uh, if those aren't relevant enough for you, if you want some specific tags, uh, you can type in your own. I say you only need to put in three. Um, you can put in more, of course, but uh, three, three is enough. Below that you can see I have set the, uh, the name of the campaign this is how it will be saved in the campaign manager. If you don't set a name, it will give a name by default, um, so you don't actually have to set one. But for tidiness sake, it is uh, useful to sort of come up with your own naming system and uh, name them so that you recognize which one is which. Over on the right here, we have where we have set the content that's going to be used in this uh, campaign. Now we're using the article manager again, and the content is simply selected as before using the drop down boxes. And we've got a bookmark one here. So we've got our tier 1, tier 2, and our bookmarks. Tier 3 comes under the tier 2. Anything below uh, tier 1 is classed as a tier 2+. plus. Now, in the future version very soon, it's just in testing right now, we'll have the uh, generate single-use articles. I uh, had hoped this one to be in right now, but it's, uh, it's a couple of days away still. And what this one does is, uh, rather than having to set up the article manager uh, ahead of time, if there's something you just want to uh, create a nuke about now, maybe it's been an event, you've seen it on the news, and you just want to, boom, get a SE nuke out there and rank something real fast, you can go into the single-use article mode, and uh, you'll have the usual options, the same as you get in the article manager, uh, but you can just create an article here and now, and uh, it'll be used for this campaign, and it will also be saved into the article manager, but, uh, but generally you'll be using like one set of articles only when you do this, whereas when you're using the article manager, the general idea is that... Uh, I mean, it, here you can see we've only got one set of articles here because this was just our example. But the general idea is you'll create many sets of articles about dog training. So there'll be a very big uh, variety of different articles that's going to be used. You won't just be using one article like we've done in this example. You might have a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand different articles on all this. And it'll just keep you going for, for months and months and months. 
uh, whereas with this it's just going to be one set of articles so it's really designed for one single use um, but as I say it, it is going to be put into the article manager as well so you can reuse them if you want now below all that we have the uh, the strategy settings section this is where you set the uh, the, the number of days that this template is going to run the actual template you're going to choose and uh, you just click the browse here and uh, find the template you want you set the number of profiles for that template uh, typically one profile is enough for all of the templates that come with SE Nuke um, you can so go for two on uh, temp templates if you wish but generally speaking uh, all the templates we've included are designed for one profile only the spread submission is not automatically calculated in the uh, Turbo Wizard, uh, mainly because there's no diagram designer here. Uh, so you do have to put this in yourself. Uh, typically speaking, you're talking uh, times of 7 to 11, 12 days. Uh, we can put it in for 7 days this time. This is a fairly small uh, template. You won't have seen this one yet. It's brand new for uh, SNU TNG. It's a little link cube, all tier 1. There's uh, no tier 2 to this template, apart from some indexing, but that doesn't really count because it's chained. Lastly, they have the uh, number of links per article bookmark profile. We always recommend leaving this at one. Uh, this basically is just how many how many links get put into each uh, profile. The problem with setting this to a higher number is that uh, the profiles can get full, and then they can't post the links anymore. And the more links you put in a profile, the less link juice it passes through. So it's always good to have uh, less links. The maximum you should ever use is three. Uh, you'll get away with three, but uh, we recommend one. Over here, the last thing you have to do is the start date and the start time. Now, like the other wizards, this uh, defaults to about 30 minutes ahead of the current time, and uh, so it gives you enough time for to click the create and to uh, post the and get all the accounts downloaded, etc. But uh, you can set this for any time you want, uh, including any year you want. I mean, we could schedule this for for 2020 if we wanted. And hopefully, we'll have a new version of SNU count by 2020. I'm not sure what version yet, but uh, it will be pretty good, I'm sure. Um, let's bring that back, back to uh, 2016. So at the moment it's scheduled to go uh, on the 26th of April. It's the American date system for those in the rest of the world where the uh, the date uh, seems to be first. And uh, we set it for 9 p.m. So all we'd have to do now to create this is click the create button and an entire campaign will be generated based upon uh, this template here. Now if you want to see what the templates uh, do look like uh, you can. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Let me just create this campaign and uh, we'll show you how to just show the templates. See, it downloads the email. It's uh, nice and quick. And then it creates everything just the same as the normal wizard does. And there we are, the wizard has exported successfully. Now, one thing you do get different here is uh, after you've closed this off, You'll see it stays open, and that's so you can schedule another one if you want. Um, so we could say, all right, we want another one to go off a couple of days after that, and we can just click it and send it off again. Now, because we're using the article manager, we don't have to bother reloading in more content. It will automatically take it from our content repository and uh, create another valid campaign. If you don't want to create any more, all you need to do is close it off, and uh, you're done. So now we've actually created that campaign. Uh, there's a few little tricks we can do. You can see the campaigns here, Dog Training Turbo uh, 160425. That's the 25th of April 2016. And we just click on that, we can see it here. It's scheduled to go off. Uh, we just move the window over a little over to the left here. And it's scheduled to go off on the 26th of April there, and uh, at 9 p.m. Now you may have remembered that uh, in the Turbo Wizard we didn't have any loop mode. Uh, that's missing for the Turbo Wizard, but you can still loop this project if you want. You can right-click it and you can go to edit loop mode and you can turn on loop mode for the project it's exactly the same as the normal wizard, you can set the number of days I'll set it to infinite if you want and uh, set the number of days delay as well between each run and you can also create the new accounts each time and use the high authority account method exactly the same as the normal wizard this basically uses the uh, the same accounts for the whatever you select within this box here uh, so if you want to use the same social networks each time, the same article directories leave those ones ticked and maybe the same bookmark but you want to create new press new wiki and new RSS each route uh, then just untick those ones and now those will be recreated each time or you can leave it so that it uses the same accounts uh, each and every time some of the uh, projects you'll see have the word loop in them 
uh, when they have a uh, loop, uh, that's the campaign, sorry, the, the, uh, the campaign templates. Some of the templates you'll see have the word loop actually in the name. And when that's in the name, that basically means it was specifically designed so you can loop it. And with those um, templates, it doesn't actually matter whether you create new ones or uh, use the same one over and over again. There's no, uh, there are no projects within that loop campaign that are going to overflow and cause a problem. So we could start that looping if we wanted to. Another option you've got is you can right click and you can do a duplicate. Duplicate basically makes an exact copy of the campaign. So it'll tell you here that we're going to make a copy. Are you sure? Yes. And it's opened up on my second monitor there. You give it a new name. I will just call this copy for this example. You can give it a new date to start. We'll start it on the 30th and we'll keep it at 930 and it asks you whether it wants to be a root campaign or a sub campaign basically. A root campaign means it's all the way here on the left. If you untick this it would make it a sub campaign of this dog training one. So instead of appearing on the left here it would appear slightly to the right within a folder um, underneath this one. In fact let's just do that here just to show you. We'll untick that so it's not a root campaign anymore. So now we're going to duplicate it. Just click the save campaign. It will download some new email because uh, basically it has to do a full account creation again. It is an exact copy of the uh, previous campaign just using a new set of templates. Just saves you having to go through and uh, recreate the whole thing again through the wizard if you know you want to reuse the same thing. And there we have it. Now you see here it's uh, we've now got a little box here and there's copy as we called it copy and uh, you'll see that it's set to start on the 30th of April exactly as we said. And it's, as I say it's an exact copy of the previous campaign um, obviously it will load in uh, new content because it was set up using the article manager so every time it goes through it will load in different content from the article manager but uh, that's that's another way of uh, reusing campaigns in AC Nuke. You can do that for article, for campaigns that you've uh, created in the normal wizard as well that's not just for uh, for the turbo wizard um, but uh, I just highlighted it there from the turbo one because we don't have that loop mode at the end of turbo.